Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be giving you my thoughts, review, demo of the brand new palettes by Hourglass, the Ambient palettes. Now there are two palettes, I have both of them. We're gonna use them both and see where we go. Okay, so let's take a look. The six pan palette is absolutely beautiful. You've got your ambient shades, you've got your diffused colors, your bronzer, your blusher. It's such a beautiful palette. The packaging is exquisite on these palettes. And then you've got the four pan palette, which again has your ambience, your dim lighting powders, you know what I mean by that, and of course a blusher. So let's see how these look on one's skin, shall we? Let's turn the light up just a wee fraction. Or Okay, so I'm gonna be using my artist brushes and I'm gonna use every single color in the palette. So I'm gonna start with the middle shade, which is the lightest. Now, as with all of Hourglass products in this range, they are incredibly finely milled. They don't, ha I personally, I don't have any issue with textured skin, with skin that's older than somebody who's 12. They apply lighter than air and they look absolutely beautiful on the skin. Now the effect of these is subtle and is supposed to be subtle. So I'm just using the lightest one, which is the middle shade, just in the center of the face. I'm gonna use the first shade here and I'm gonna apply this right at this outer section before we move on to anything else. So I'm just dusting it kind of just on that kind of outer perimeter, on the cheekbones. I'm purposely using my brushes for this because I think that they go really well with the kind of hourglass um, feeling of it. The fact that you're just getting these little hints of color. I'm gonna be taking <clears throat> the lighting powder and I'm just gonna really gently stroke that onto the cheekbones, across the bridge of the nose, and underneath the eyebrow. Now I'm gonna take the bronzer, and I'm just gonna kind of just roll it in the product a bit. And now I'm gonna just warm up the outside portion of the face. Kind of like I did earlier on, but just adding a touch more color. And you notice I'm going on the cheekbone, not um, under it. I'm not trying to contour or be particularly clever. I just want to add a bit of warmth to this look. And that's actually really quite nice. I'm actually going to go back into these two colors mixed. And I'm just going to just go over just the interior portion. Okay, I'm going to switch brushes to a smaller artist brush and I'm just going to go back in with the illuminator. I'm just going to reintroduce it just a little bit more on the kind of cheekbone area. I'm now going to take another artist brush. This one's long gone, I'm afraid, and I'm just going to do this kind of sweeping motion just to ensure that everything is, is more seamless. I'm gonna take the, I've got a couple of choices here with blusher. I'm gonna go for the middle one because I think this is absolutely beautiful. And personally speaking, blusher can go anywhere. I actually want to create it in this angled motion right here in this kind of, it's much closer to the eye than perhaps a lot of people care for, but on my face shape, it just tends to work quite well. And you're just adding, and again, I'm just kind of hitting it right here and then into the brow bone. And again, large brush with no color on. Just to blend everything. My skin's relatively dry at the moment from using, you know, prescriptive products. 
and the hourglass products don't tend to cling to anything they just give this really kind of healthy effect to the skin and we're going to double up now because now we're going to use this palette and we're going to do the exact same thing so i'm going to start in the middle uh, i'm going to start at the beginning i'm sorry and i'm just going to once again just and you, the thing that's really great about these products is that because they're so finely milled they they don't add lots and lots of texture to the skin see i have this thing right now in the camera what's happened right now is this area here is really pronounced but in the mirror it isn't so i don't know which is telling the truth and I'm not a fan of highlighting the tip of the nose. I'm just going to get a powder, a powder, a, a sponge. I'm not a fan of generally highlighting the tip of the nose because it tends to be an area that's made absolutely no difference in the monitor. We'll see when it's edited um, because it, it's rarely an area that people ever go. I'd love if you could make my nose really stand out right here. It's quite rare. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer. This is a deeper shade. And I'm going to once again start with a hairline because my hairline, you know, it's a good area for me to highlight. I'm getting older. Grass isn't growing the same way as it used to. And I'm just going to kind of bring it and I'm going to shade it all the way down. So I'm bringing it down and then I'm shading it down here so no cutting in just kind of bringing it down bringing it across this area i'm going to take the strobing powder and i'm going to i'm actually going to keep it right here and i'm going to apply it relatively strongly although to some people that will not be strongly and i'm just going to pop it right here and the reason for that is if you look at my end of my eye, if I keep the highlighter in this section, it means that the areas that tend to move are more in this section, right? So it's going to crease less on mature skin like mine. Then I'm going to take my brush that has no powder, nothing, no product on it, and just smooth that out. And that's really nice because it then takes down some of that intensity. This is a really peculiar blusher because it's almost like a burgundy and it's quite a strange color, but I've got a feeling it's gonna work out really nicely. They're so subtle, these products. They're lovely. Right here, I'm gonna go for a really nice flush right here in that center point, right there. They're lovely right here because it reminds me of you just you, you you're just outside and and healthy you know when in doubt apply blush blush tiny bit of scara some lip gloss lovely and this is lots and lots of layers of product and it still looks really really quite lovely i've definitely Definitely, however, I'm going to do this now because get I'm just irritating me. You need to bronze the neck. Let's use a bigger brush. You've got to bronze the neck because my neck is now much paler than the rest of me. And somebody's going to point it out, you know, because you can't let it go. You know you won't. Well, some of you will. A lot of you will. But there's a couple that won't. You know who you are. Bad people. Very bad, terrible. So we're just bronzing that bit up so that the whole thing looks a little bit more like I belong to the same person, you know? Because we've all seen people whose necks are one color and their faces are another. You don't want to be that person. No, you don't. There you go. I love it. I think it's such, I think I have all of the, um, all of the sort of holiday palettes that they release each year. And I'm so pleased that I do because they are so wonderful. Just the packaging, the product, the amount you get, it's just bloody lovely. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll put the links down there in the description bar. Um, 
I believe that we had some extra stock of the artist collection, which is three brushes that look like this. And they are like silk. They are like nothing on the skin, so they do not disturb the face. The really large one was a holiday edition brush many, many moons ago. I have three of them, jealous. Um, and that's all I have. I have these three and they're beautiful. Right, let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.